Hey there, gamer fans. Here we are playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. I had to do a bit wonky things several times just to get this to stream at all. But this game is free right now on Epic Games. Go grab it. It's going to be available for the next six and a half more days. Um, some things I should tell you up front is I had to go into the settings for options and disable the music because they will copy strike you for ever using anything that sounds even close to a Star Wars theme. So for that, I hate you, London Symphony for copy striking me once <laughs> at 2% volume you couldn't even detect it with your naked ear your human ear anyway fuck you London Symphony but thanks for making the music in the first place it was kind of nice but we'll never hear it again um another thing is <laughs> it, I, I cannot switch this from uh I, I now that I've got it running and I'm streaming, if I switch out of the game for any reason, the game crashes. And it's kind of wonky. Epic Games launches Origin from EA, and Origin launches Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> Which then tells EA... EA that it's running, which then tells Epic Games that it's running, and it seems like it closes Origin at that point, which is kind of wonky. But overall, you guys won't notice any difference unless you're streaming. Okay, the next thing to note is you get free crates. It seems you get a free crate every single day. It says that anyway. And then here you got, it seems, your dailies. I got 21 more hours to do these dailies. This one is just to play an objective for, for 10 minutes. For some reason, there's 600 points here, so it seems like that's 10 points a second. I'm not quite sure. No, no, that, that's, that's wrong. But, um, so it's one point per second. Um, play as a special unit for five minutes. Defeat five troopers while being horn buffed in Ewok Hunt. And that must be a special map. And I don't know. Horn buffed must be from an Ewok. I don't know. But we're going to open this chest and see what we got. Legion starter bundle. Here's some funky writing. I'm sure it says... Legion, and then a bundle, and this says starter, so that's written in whatever Star Wars language they got. This crate contains the Phase 1 close tr clone trooper Legion armors of the 104th Battalion, 212 Attack Battalion, so a bunch of corps, plus Phase 1 and 2 versions of the Camouflage 41st Ranger Platoon. The old 41st Elite Corps appearances and an extra 60,000 credits. So I should get 60,000 credits here and a random piece out of one of these like six different armor packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven divided by however many pieces of armor there are. So it's basically a cosmetic is how I assume what's gonna happen. Ooh, I get to pick which one? Well, I think this one. First Ranger Platoon. 327 Star Corp. Concord and Recon Corps for 91st. Uh, heavy and Assault. 
Oh, I got assault and assault here. Okay, so I guess I get every one of them. Specialist, 104th Battalion. And there's the 60,000. Almost said blood points. <laughs> okay. No unopened crates available. I'm just glad it didn't tell me I needed a key. Because if it would have said I needed a key, I probably would have quit. <laughs> I don't know if I have to select this. I just want to play. Fastest hunk of junk. Do I really have to select it? Or do I just work towards it? 500 credits if I complete it out of I've already got 60,000 I don't know why it's showing me these is it trying to tell me I can buy it for real money I assume so and this one's the special skin I would have thought this one would be the special skin. And this one. This one was the really cool one. I guess this one doesn't really quite seem so special. Although, I don't even remember a figurine of this. So, so whatever. Let's do a quick match. I'm sick of looking at crap. Go faster. Two, one. So just remember, you don't have to play with no sound. I have to play with no sound if I'm going to stream. And by no sound, I mean no music, not no sound. Extra health received from an officer's battle command is only temporary and will wear off after a short while. Death Star 2 Command Sector North. Rebel and Imperial Infantry forces clash in deadly combat. You get a small battle point amount every time you are defeated. Many characters and classes have additional passive abilities displayed in the lower left section. Um, do I? Oh, and right now they're doing some some silly point thing where it costs less points to spend on some special troop um, I think I have to play a specialist for some reason I don't know what star cards are star cards can boost or replace character abilities each character or starfighter you can have up to three cards equipped at a time you can unlock star cards by using skill points skill points are class specific and received each time you gain enough XP to gain a level. Okay, well, seeing how I don't have any, it's worthless to actually look. I'm pretty sure, what other weapons do I got? Locked, 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 so I might as well not even look. Just start. Thirty seconds, starting as specialist in thirty seconds. Wonder if that is like some special load time, or if there was actually a match that I had already they had found for me, or if they're just making me wait thirty seconds for no reason. That's really what I think they're doing, just making me wait so that I appreciate getting into a game so quickly. Hundred, hundred. Well, it looks like it's we're not short on targets. We can't down them all, but we can make room to maneuver. Eliminate every squad you can. From what I remember about the first one, whenever you uh, enemy casualties climbing fast. I'm just gonna follow behind this guy because everything the first game. You couldn't, you 
couldn't get a headshot, which just was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. You'd shoot him right in the head and you'd miss. I'm literally just following these people. There's all three people on my team. I hear something. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! have been successful so far. Did I really just headshot someone? Am I like the best player ever suddenly? Let's go. I still don't care. They're coming after us. Infiltration. Hmm. Dermal bionic binoculars and shock grenade. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, faster. Go. I don't know if this is timed. It would make sense why we're getting friendly fire. Yeah, that was really stupid. <laughs> He jumped all the way down. You might live. Luke lived. Just start. Why do I have to select all that extra crap? Ooh, this is kind of cool. You're no oh. coward. What are you planning? Just get a better look at this. to the worst skip I don't care about this is there something I can some way I can just immediately change I mean, I'll switch to a, a character who might look like the bad guys
Wow. That was like instant. Well, what I was saying earlier was that the uh, Battlefront 1, when you headshot someone, it, it didn't kill them. It took two shots to the head with a sniper rifle to kill someone. What other weapons do I have? There's uh, something to, to do that. I'm 
just able to keep selecting him. He's gone up a level now. We're Again, if someone went AFK, then that would actually suck really bad. That is a launch event. extra slow for no reason, so I just sped it up. Like the controls, they're real easy to figure out. said they spotted me.
there are. Don't really want to play these guys. Why are they wearing World War Two? Uniforms? I'm just kidding. I'm actually not, but anyway. Um, I think I'll select this one because it looks different. Oh, I'm getting like points here for that. Oh! And, oh, I got points for being a specialist, but I'm getting points for the, the bookie, specifically. Have your finger on on roll and another finger on the. Uh, have your finger on jump and roll. It's really hard. To
hit me. I wonder how much ammo we get. And if I should be reloading as much as I am. Star cards can be unlocked and upgraded from the collections menu. Collections. Okay, I have no idea what that means. I'm mainly just switching over to a new character to, uh, because they said it costs less battle points to use them. So I'm wondering if I'm able to unlock them. I don't know. Oh, I can't even shoot him. Wow, that was really pathetic. Her gun, I couldn't shoot over, shoot over anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We'll use this, this little teddy bear. I don't know what Hunter's instinct is. I think he's looking for food. Trying, I, I was holding it on aim because I thought that that was me pulling back the trigger, and then I moved over to holding down the button to actually fire. That like totally sucked. Little teddy bear sucks butt. Just jump in the hole. Oh crap! That cost my team a point. I'm sure. Damn it. Let's go defeat the Imperials. That's the new objective. What is this? That was so horrible. Oh yeah, he's teabagging teddy bear. This kind of is absolute bullcrap to even play this little shit. He sucks. Well, he instantly sucks. Maybe, maybe yeah, I could get better with him later or learn what, what use he really is, but so far.
look at him, he's just punching me and I can't do crap. <laughs> hey, he sucks total butt. My character, not the other guy. Him being able to punch at me pretty much shows how bad this. Oh, did everyone else leave? They're pulling back. I think we did it. We <laughs> I did won because he quit. Permission to land like a dainty butterfly. I'm first place. Everyone else sucks. I got kicked in the face so many times. I've won. Good job, Kamikaze. Thank you, Kamikaze. I got 3,115 points from that battle. I got some points as in. Enforcer, some as specialist, and some as infiltrator? Is that... is that mine? Is that... Got to level two and a third? Why did it kick me out of this stupid screen? This cloning facility will fall. Get. That's the water planet of some place. Bomber, interceptor, fighter. says we need eight players to play. I'm pretty sure zero players are available in addition to me. Okay, so one other person has joined. We need seven more players. I don't think it's gonna happen. We had a whole, like, five characters in the last match. Hi, how are you? He's good. Brother. Come to join the fight. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Try to get nudes on this game, you perv. I guess. I am four year old. <laughs> so creepy. Once my age like we're gonna date or something. <laughs> We even lost someone. Uh, ah, I don't think we are going to get a match. Have enough to 
get a match. We need ten players. Last match we could only muster up five. Okay, that's it. We're done. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, let's see. I'll go back to the main menu and see what happens there. Maybe something's there that I may have missed or not. Who knows? Who knows? Defeat five while being horn -fed. Defeat five rounds of Starfighter Assault. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, defeat five troopers while being horn -fed. I got zero. So that wasn't going to happen. Can you imagine using that bow and arrow on... I got an extra thousand points just for being in that lobby. That was dumb as hell. Can you imagine the, the little wooden bow and arrow doing enough damage to hurt an armored trooper anyway? It's like... Is that... That whole thing was pretty silly. And if I could, I would, I would throw away this one and try to get a better one. Five rounds of Starfighter Assault. Fuck that, I'm not playing. 20, oh no wait, <laughs> five rounds. I don't care what five, I don't know what five rounds is. Maybe that's five deaths. Or maybe it's five times that my players die. Equip your character. Okay. Which character are we playing? Your collection. Here you will find all characters and starfighters available for you to play. All of them can be customized with star cards that you don't have. Some have additional weapon customization as well. Well. Let's select this guy. Captain Phasma. She died so quick and easy in all the movies. Every time that she was shown, she got defeated in seconds. I'm kind of surprised that we have Kylo Ren. Or even that we have Darth Vader. Is that possible? I think we were playing as Chewie. Maybe, maybe not. Furious bowcaster, not just a bowcaster, but a furious one. Charge slam. Um, I have zero experience, therefore I wasn't playing him. Was it the specialists? Enforcer? Infiltrator? Why do these all seem like the bad guys? Armor? Aerial. Don't think so. Officer. And they gave me the the chest for the stormtroopers, yet I wasn't allowed to play one, which kind of bothers me that that they did that. And I, I'm not quite sure how it works. of Emperor. It keeps going up and down. Okay, uh, I'm done looking at you. What the hell is career? Time challenge, rank two. Multiplayer? Okay, yeah, I was in a multiplayer match. Campaign? Ooh. Is there a campaign? Can I play by myself? At this time of night, there's no way I'm going to be playing with anyone else. Hey, 
it's funny and interesting to realize that Grievous, he has four lightsabers because he has four arms and he's a tiny little alien inside of this robot, basically. He has no Jedi powers, which is why he sucks and he gets killed by Obi-Wan so easily. Yes, a lightsaber. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Ooh, I like how they made the fabric on his shirt so, so well. It even has indentations. Well, it seems like it has indentations where his battle armor has been hit. I don't know. There's... The light source is really cool. That's the most I've ever seen him, even in all the movies. The most I've seen him move, even in all the movies. His one pose. Aiden Versio. Now, I don't know why they show her face here when you can't see her face here. It seems kind of... That's cool. I like that they gave, put the lightsaber in. Funny, the barrel on this tiny little pea shooter. More like it's got a huge silencer on the end of this pea shooter. more nervous than confident, but that's actually how his character is. I like how he has a battle pose, where Luke's kind of nervous a lot. He's like, yeah, right here. He looks pretty tough. He should be tough. I don't understand why I'm selecting a character. It's not like I can do anything with him. Next. Classes. Some characters share unique abilities and belong to a class. Star cards customize that class and thus apply to all characters within the class. Separatist, Galactic Empire, First Order. Resistance. The Soul Trooper specializes in fast, close quarters combat. Rebel Alliance. Galactic Republic. First Order. Hmm. I'll select this guy. I wish there was a button that said that I could select it. But since there isn't, I kind of feel like all this is pointless. Gamma 
damage reduction. Maybe you get the cards after you've gotten to that level. Aha! I was right. Okay, so that's stealth. Remain hidden from enemy scanners when firing your weapon, and you deal increased melee damage. Marksman. When you defeat an enemy with a headshot, your weapon heat will be reset, and your weapon will produce less heat until you overheat next time. Sounds redundant. Improved shot grenade. Nope. Improved thermal binoculars? Why would it matter? Oh, I could have spotted some the enemy. Interesting. We'll we'll do this one. Well yeah, equip it. Um how many points do I have? doesn't really state how many points I have. I'm not sure. I wish I could change. Here, I, oh, I can change. I guess this actually changes nothing. Depending on the battle, they'll swap me over. And I think I selected that this might be my character, this walrus spider guy. Well, that's a walrus spider chick, but... Whatever. Looks like the gun is changing. So I think it it really only matters which uh, battle they've loaded you into. Okay, so let's look at. Enforcer. En Enforcer. Death Trooper. That'd be pretty cool. Ooh, Flamethrower Trooper. Here's my Wookiee Warrior. And this is why I got more points on the Wookiee. say two of two. Legacy? Default? I have no idea. Recovered per second. Ooh. Regenerate faster. Health on elimination? Uh, well, this would actually be the best. I think it's saying that I get 55 already. Let's see if I get to 70. Really wish it didn't have this, this, these weird colors that makes me think that the game is broken showing, showing dumb crap. So I think I just got to 55. That's what really happened. Yeah, of course, equip. Come on. You got nothing. Mm, I don't have any more points to spend. Area, no. Infiltrator. kind of don't think I used... My infiltrator. Heh. 
kitty man. He's got a kitty face. This is weird hair that goes from his eyebrow down to his mustache. And then just like weirdos with their their mustaches, he put them to the side of his face. And this guy walks like a chick. This guy looked like a chick in his face, too. He walked on her. This is the guy I was trying to play. There's 13 appearances. Commando droid. I think this might be from the cartoon. This guy's got swagger. That guy's so... It's funny. He walks like a chick. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Commando droid or ARC trooper. Let's see what we got here. which one would make them the blend into their surroundings the most this would make sense for a white background so i'm just gonna select this Ooh, this says rare whatever well, i'm selecting it Umbra operative, Umbra one, Umbra two, one, two. I can very, I don't know if I can tell the difference. Okay, there's these things right there. They're not. I guess on the face, this one comes right down to the front. And this one's up higher. Why is it? Why is there such a. Why do they have phase one and phase two here? Oh, this mask comes down to a V right here, and this one is more like a W, or a blunt nose. I wish they'd stop moving. It comes up. Okay. Now I have to go back to this character and see if there were different phases, and I can't see them. Oh, I didn't play it enough to get a character. And the only thing that I had, I was trying to play the little Ewok and I couldn't because Ewok sucks butt. Career. Option, no. Single, ah, oh, I can play single player. Arcade. <laughs> Master of combat with co arcade. Fight against AI controlled enemies and earn rewards as you learn to master all of your troops, heroes, weapons, and abilities. Instant action or campaign. Instant action takes single player epic battles against AI opponents offline, take control over a majority of command posts to gain reinforcements and defeat the enemy team. Fight for the Empire as Commander Aiden Versio, leader of the Empire's extraordinary Special Operations Team Inferno Squad. Uh, 
battle scenarios are custom arcade, tutorial, gonna say I kind of want to do the Ewok one to get that uh, daily in team battle one I didn't check I hope we're not flying airplanes or jets or whatever not on the first mission anyway Yavin 4, save our skins. An Imperial scouting party has landed on Yavin 4. However, they didn't bargain for a showdown against Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa. Defeat the threat before they can report back. Get ready for multiplayer by testing out different combinations of star cards to find your perfect hand. Equip star cards in arcades. In arcade, all star cards un unlocked on the highest level. Optimize shield deployment. I think I get four of these. Might as well look at the top ones first. Health. Firing time. Bonus damage, reduced cooldown, damage reduction, damage received reduction, increased blast radius, increased max health regeneration, decreased recharge time. So I think, I think if you're being shot, you're going to die eventually. It, there's no helping it but if you're actually shooting someone then increased firing time is going to be immensely powerful and bonus damage is going to be immensely powerful and reduced cooldown for firing is going to be immensely powerful And then the last thing would be increased regeneration. And I don't think I can equip anything more. I think I can unequip other stuff. Decreased recharge time, reduced cooldown. Thermal detonators, I don't need a thermal. Squad shield more often as the recharge time is reduced. Decreased recharge time. Well, shields should be pretty good. All right. Now let's see what he can do. Increased area of effect. Repulse. Push. Well, that sounds like the same thing as repulse. Stamina drain decrease. Recharge time increase. Wait, it says Luke can do one extra rush, but the time, the recharge time is slightly increased. Huh. Luke's melee strikes and blaster deflections both drain less stamina. Every rush makes Luke more resistant to damage for three seconds. I don't even know what a rush is. Push has greater knockback. 
Maximum increased damage to every enemy trooper defeated or 200 damage to villains. Increases Luke's lightsaber damage by two to a maximum. To a maximum. This effect resets when Luke is defeated. And it looks like it goes all the way to 36. Deflection mastery. Blocked blaster shots are deflected super accurately, but drain more stamina. Repulse will deal bonus damage to targets standing within half its radius. Okay. I feel like if this is going to increase my blocks, that would be incredibly powerful. Push. Repulse. Rush. Rush makes you more resistant. One rush, but the re recharge time is increased. Extra rush. And this one says, for every rush, it makes you more resistant. Wait, no. Every rush makes loot more resistant to damage for three seconds. Maybe that's not so awesome. Luke's melee strikes and blaster deflection both drain less stamina. Blaster deflections. Push has an increased area of effect. This one might actually be really powerful if there's some other way to also use push. Push has greater knockback. Repulse, repulse, increased air effect, and this one has anyone at half its radius will take bonus damage. This is rush, this is rush. I feel like this would be really good. Repulse seems to like, seems to be push with but on multiple enemies. Let's find the other push. Push has a increased area of effect. Push has greater knockback, twice as far, and this one's area of effect is 30%. Drains less stamina. quite sure how effective this intensify would be. It says increased damage of 36. It says 2 to a maximum, I think, of 36. Every enemy trooper defeated or 200 damage to villains increase Luke's lightsaber damage by 2. Okay, whatever. We'll just see how that works. Um... Okay, push. Luke uses the force to push an enemy in front of him, knocking them over ledges or into danger. Luke, for repulse, sends a burst of force energy out from the ground, dealing, enemy, dealing damage to any enemies nearby. Rush uses the force to enhance his speed and quickly move in any direction while swinging his lightsaber. Hmm. That one would be the smartest thing. So I'm going to take off 
this repulse and this repulse and here is we'll, we'll do this and rush what's this intensify we're gonna take this one off we're gonna go full full charge full attack so every rush makes you more resistant to damage for three seconds by 15% damage that's like not very much uh, we can do one extra rush, but the reach tar charge time is increased. We're going to take that off and put on Jedi Fighter. Okay. Jedi Reflexes. We took away immunity. We're going to go full damage. Intensify. Okay, now we're actually a full warrior. May the force be with us. Move it! You've done this before. anyway credits water two hundred dollar tier one complete my points 
9,700. Play next scenario. Next tier, again, uh, scenario. I don't want to do the next tier. It would be just a little bit harder, exact same thing. I want something different. Heroes will only regenerate a limited amount of health after taking damage. The Heavy Trooper's Combat Shield offers excellent protection from the front. However, it only allows for the use of the Trooper's primary weapon. It's a trap! Imperial troops have caught Han and Chewbacca in an ambush and most icily. They've gotten out of tighter places than this, though. Defeat them all. Reduce charge time for sharpshooter? So I can shoot faster, I guess. Um, heavily modified blaster and improved capacity allows Han's gun to build less heat when firing. Cooldown increase. Detonator charge will deal bonus damage if detonated before. And okay, all in. Shoulder charge tackle reduce the charge. That's silly. Big bang. I don't care. Keep your head cool after each headshot. Han is able to fire his blaster without overheating for a short period. Sharpshooter reduces. Reduce less active time. Damage received reduction. All of these are just stupid. Um. For each headshot kill, he's able to fire for two and a half seconds without overheating. Sharpshooter shots reduce less active time. Extra dodge ability charge, but all cooldowns are increased. Received blaster damage reduction, bonus damage, damage vulnerability. Enemies that are hit by shock grenade will be more vulnerable to all damage for the shock duration. I don't care about grenades. Impervious. Every time Chewbacca deals a threshold of 200 combined damage with any ability, he gains 2% damage reduction to a maximum of 34%. This effect resets Chewbacca is defeated. We'll take that. It was basically Luke's power, although it, it he's not a lightsaber melee character. Every time Chewbacca deals a threshold, wait, shock grenade, charging frenzy, Chewbacca receives even less damage while using charge slam. Just gonna select that for now. Echoing roar for every enemy Chewbacca defeats while Furious Bowcaster is active. It will extend its duration. Well, we'll do that. Maximum health. Okay. Slammed. S Charge slam deals bonus damage to enemies that are within half. Seems like he's got all of Luke's powers. Shocked and vulnerable. Don't care about shock grenade. Received damage is halved. Uh, health increase. Receives less damage while using charge slam. I don't want grenades. Oh wait, let's let's look by 150. No, that's not it. By 20%. That's just 50 points extra here. 
it's 20% less here. That seems a lot less than, what, 33% more or 50% more. I'm going to unequip this. Although that doesn't say that he regenerates faster. It says that he just has more points to regen up to. So actually, this is the best. So F, E, and Q. Charge slam. Slams his fist into the ground when re-triggered, dealing high damage and knocking enemies off their feet. This can be activated from the air. Furious Bowcaster overcharges Bowcaster, enabling him to fire fully charged shots with no charge time. Okay. Well, let's look down here. Oh, I selected these. Health on elimination. Chewbacca regains health for each enemy defeated. Okay. Let's see what his special ability. Same exact thing. minutes and three seconds even though I only had two minutes to do it in interesting return to menu I think that concludes the the fun and the video for today I'm gonna transfer this video straight over to YouTube and I think I already mentioned this is free on epic games for the next six and a half days <laughs> I've now unlocked more items here. Let's go back and see. Okay, so I did. Wait, I. Look at his stuff. Did I get any points? No, none of that actually counted towards loot. Did I? I think I also played. Yeah, Chewbacca. Let's look. 
no points gained, so that was all just pointless. It did not count for my points. Wow, that sucks. Why would you ever say, like, so low there? Time challenge? Is that what I did? No, time challenge is the daily. I shouldn't call it that. Arcade. I guess that usually means you're not going towards anything. But I... I'm not sure. Did I choose instant action or arcade? Hide in Versio's story with finely tuned combat. That's challenging, but fair. Uh, that was the... The... Jet black stormtrooper with the round head that was uh, a female underneath. I'm. Just, I guess I'm gonna play one of these too. Since it did say campaign, it should have some bearance on the on something. Wow, didn't even start loading until this very moment. On the bottom, in the center, the, the line is just barely starting to climb from the left side. So it was loading the load screen, and now that I'm in the load screen, <laughs> now it's loading. Oh, the character that we're going to play, that it says that we're going to play as on the number two setting, is the character we're staring at right there. The jet black stormtrooper with black riding on the helmet. No, red riding on the helmet. Derp. Wow, this is taking a long time to load. I did turn on DirectX 12 settings, so that might be why it's taking so much more time to load. But it might also be why it looks so very nice. I do like how this game feels like the the characters and the damage on the weapons is much more realistic for the the amount of damage that you give and you take based on the movies or the the thrill of the movies anyway. The Ewok should be weak like it was. It was just disappointing that that's the one that I had to play. 
which is why they gave a daily for it, I'm sure, because it's overly difficult. load screen is pretty crazy. I'm glad they're not actually doing the music here because that would have definitely copy struck me right here. <laughs> Invincible Faith, Rebel Captain. Security. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, highly infiltration, Tra trained. extraction. She's special forces. Other shun words too. What? Work for the rebels? Hide in Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. He must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. She gives it up so easy that that's why you know we can really use someone us, like you right? just help me and i'll help you it's that easy i'm gonna get what i want eventually my best technicians are slicing into your droid right now take on my offer all i want is the code they care so much about their joy as if the Empire's time has come. Placed. You don't have to go down with it. Joints must be worth like You're right. millions of dollars. The Empire's time has come. VZ six two six. VZ six two six. Code. What have we here? An ID-10 tactical droid. You were way more advanced than the ID-9. Slicing into you is not that easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's <laughs> working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. Analysis shows this ID-10 has been modified with an electroshock problem. Which can't do anything if the droid is deactivated. Until it hears the access code, this ID-10 can't do a thing. Please, just let me work in peace. Understood. I shall remain silent until you have finished defacing that ID-10 tactical unit. Keep talking, protocol droid. So I suppose this is like a small R2 unit, although they're calling it a ID-10. Oh, I can actually move. Um, we'll press F, E, Q, E. Press 3 to use shock. Oh, we're loading. Droid, execute the plan. Download the ship's schematics from their computers, then come find me. Attention crew, we have an enemy droid on the loose. Send reinforcements immediately. That is what I would say. Don't touch them. Thank you. 
Wait, I already looked in this one. Please, stop that! What about this one? Interesting they pretend these are cameras. R2 didn't have to switch around and crawl around in episode 4 to see what he was doing. What he was doing was he just stayed at one spot and accessed everything. And he was accessing database. So, what they're. What all this means. Like he has a key, that, uh, a doorknob that only a certain hand can open. You worry too much. Do I? You know who's in our cell block, right? Something shot Imperial. Special Forces. It instead of letting me access it. Command wants to report on that Imperial Transmission we intercepted. Thanks. We need any information that can be crucial to the Death Star attack at Endor. Stealth. The detection meter shows the Rebels growing awareness of your presence. When it flashes, they enter full alert. Okay, what is... Flashes. Okay, so the... Hey, how's that the the man is expecting updates before Endor if possible. I'll pass it along. There are too many rebels outside my cell. Find another one. <laughs> if it loads forever, I'm done. Return to game. Incoming message from that one. Key personnel. Please report to the breach. Another spot. There are too many rebels outside my cell. Find another way. least it was a fast load. There are too many rebels outside my cell. Find another way.
is toggle and um, hey that's enough is actual you're locked up until after Endor after that we'll figure out what to do with you so until then just sit down and be quiet and they're loud they don't play hmm, that was stealth Come on, let's go. Droid shock. Shock eliminates enemies when the meter is full. When aimed properly, it can also disable vehicles while Iden damages enemies or performs headshots and stealth take cat downs. The meter refills. Interesting. Have the rebels figured out you wanted to be caught? Never crossed their mind. To be fair, we're operating outside protocol. We should have just blown up their ship. Would have raised too many questions. For this to work, we need to be subtle. I understand, Commander. Slice, please. <laughs>
right, slice it. I've located the encrypted intel. Reload just uh, decreases your um, your heat. Dissipates your heat instantly. doors.
threats. I guess I'm venting these things. Like they were getting tougher and tougher as we went on. Enemy located in system control room. Do not let her escape. Interesting 
except the, the evil venture weapon instead of Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko! Those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the Rebellion died. Point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> wow, that lasted, it seems, a, an entire hour. So it looks like there's lots to lots of Capture the saboteurs. What's the status of the 
Death Star shield generator. Worse than expected. There's no way to repair or reactivate. Then our battle station is vulnerable. Eliminate the rebels and return to the Corvus. The Emperor's plan must not fail. Yes, sir. Agent Hask with me. Agent Miko, cover us from here. One target, dead ahead. Follow my lead. Understood, Commander. I didn't want to do this. What's your status? <laughs> Tell General Solo this might take a while. If there's anything to recover, we'll find it, but the damage is extensive. Careful, Commander. Single target on the trail ahead. You're up. Killstreak Vanguard? An improved version of Vanguard that replenishes your, your active time when you defeat an enemy. I have no idea. I can't read it because this crap's in the way. All of your abilities have shorter recharge times. When you defeat an enemy in melee combat your abilities refresh and you'll gain a small amount of health take reduced damage from explosions and toxins oh i have one an improved version of vanguard okay. there i'll get rid of I can't select the shield because I because I don't have it unlocked. Scan kill greed kill streak vanguard and impact. Strike teams. One at the bunker, the other patrolling near the fallen walker. Good spotting, Agent. We'll take it from here. Target sighted! Where?
with that. That's all of them. Regroup and prepare to move out. Regroup. Okay. It said eliminate, but I. I feel like uh, any of those things I had, I could unlock, were giving me parts. I feel like they were like bonus extra crap. So I'm gonna run back and see right right here I think. Oh I got a sniper now. Copy all of them. There's Del. Those rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should too. We're near platform four. There's Del. Is there a shuttle there? No. TIE fighters only. Even better. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no. We'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. On you, Commander. We need to reach Platform 4 and secure those TIE fighters. That's our only way back to the Corvus. Agent Miko, scout ahead. Yes, Commander. Agent Hask, contact the Eviscerator. I need to speak with the Admiral. Yes, Commander. Patching you through now. Admiral, Inferno Squad is evacuating Endor. What's the situation? Vice Admiral Sloan has ordered a retreat. We're pulling out of the system. Make it to your ship, Commander. Survive. I will send you the rank coordinates. Yes, sir. We'll contact you when we reach the Corvus. I don't understand how this happened. The trap was perfect. Someone made a mistake. High Command overlooked something crucial again. No, there has to be more to it. The rebels were outnumbered and outgunned. It's simple. The Emperor underestimated the strength of our enemy, and we paid the price. Commander, the... Permission to speak freely. Granted. I know we're alone, Iden, but that, that sounded treasonous. Look to the sky, Hask. It's not treason if it's the truth. Heads up, Commander. Rebel patrol headed your way. Thank you, Agent Miko. We'll take care of him. I have a visual on the patrol. We should slow the point of the Rain it in. Fire! Taking them down! Patrol neutralized. It's what they deserve. Commander, I've got eyes on a rebel ambush. We lost a shuttle and our men are overrun. Keep scouting, Agent. We'll see what we can do. I want to shoot a bird, but I don't want to give up my position. Slice that. Disruption.
modified diffusion device which creates a burst of ionized energy that overheats enemies, weapons, diffused explosives, and temporarily disables turrets. Someone who was right here. We weren't expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. All the same, we're in your debt, Commander. I suppose I got the surprise attack by going behind them. Officers make their allies more effective and can deploy defensive turrets. Prioritize enemy officers when possible. Commander, I'm hearing reports of enemy transports landing across Endor. They're deploying troops all over this moon. We won't be here much longer. Attack! Commander, look. Enemy officer!
done here. Agent Miko, what's your position? I've rallied a squad near the platform, waiting on you and Agent Hask before we move in. On our way. Show me threats. Shield. Disruption. Diffusion device which overheats weapons. Shield. Protects item from blaster fire and explosives with a portable deflector and shield. And what's this? Flash grenade? Grenade splits into multiple. Fragments of blind and deal a small amount of damage. Retrigger action split into fragments. Let's look at this again. Okay. Wait this moon. And then we're gonna make the rebellion pay. Oh, this is hey. activate. Yes, Commander. What I with you. already got. For the Empire. <laughs>
Getting way too close to the action. Agent Miko, situation report. Commander, rebels have seized platform. You know, I gotta end this somewhere, and this is might as well. The Looks best like you're place. ready for it. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, click that bell notification. I need subscribers everybody, and until next time, stay safe out there.